Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful and you're having a wonderful end of your weekend. Thanks for joining me. Today we are creating with Spellbinders Card Kit of the Month for January 2022. This little banner we created during the unboxing. If you want to know how I created it, um, I'll leave the unboxing at the end of the video. But it's very easy to put together with the dies and the, the card kit this month. I'm just adding a piece of fun foam behind that banner to pop it up. Next we have, we're jumping into card number one, <laughs> but we have some pattern papers. The first one measures four inches by five and a quarter, and it has a real pretty soft blue with white polka dots. We're gonna adhere that to our card base. I had to grab a new uh, tape runner. I ran out of tape on the other one. <laughs> we're gonna center this. It does have a little bit of a border around my, my um, background and then we're going to add our next pattern paper which I really love. This one is three and a quarter inches wide by four and a half inches tall. We're just going to layer those both together. I have three die cuts from our die cut pack and um, they're they're real pretty circles with like bursts coming out of them. I adhered two together and we're going to put layer them um, just below the top left corner of our banner. We'll tack them down with the tape runner and then I have one left, it's the pink one. I'm gonna do a little tucking on the bottom right corner just for a little balance. We're gonna take our banner, I'm gonna add a little bit of glue behind it and then place this on our card base. And then that will be, that. oh actually, we are gonna do one more thing with card number one. <laughs> Um, this month the, the kit had some white twine banners. We're gonna be using those in another card, but I thought some white twine would go good with this with this um, card. So I just tied a small bow with white twine that I had in my stash. This was actually from Spellbinders. I don't think they carry it no more, which is a shame because it's pretty fabulous stuff. But um, any kind of white twine that you have would do. I'm just gonna use one of my journey dots. Use my tool in one to kind of roll it up in a little ball. And then we're gonna add our bow on top of that glue dot. And then that will finish off card number one with the card kit of the month. It's called, the card kit this month is called uh, Truly Madly Deeply. So I'm, I'm kind of wanted to give you guys kind of a variety, not just Valentine's cards, but a little bit of a variety. For card number two, we are gonna go ahead and take our pink gingham pattern paper. It is five and a quarter inches tall by two and a half inches wide. This is going to go all the way to the left of our card base. And then I have a piece of music pattern paper. We're going to add adhesive behind this. The music pattern paper is one and three quarter inches wide and it's the same um, height, which is five and a quarter inches tall. We're going to layer that all the way to the right of our card base. Next, we have some extra pieces of that blue polka dot pattern paper. We're gonna, and that is a three quarter inch strip. We're gonna add that over the seam. Now this little die cut was in our die cut pack and we're gonna pop it up with some foam adhesive. Um, and then I did trim down a piece of the gold mirror cardstock and we're gonna, um, I wanted it to be the same size as this die cut with the heart. That way we can layer them together and have that gold behind behind there. Love the way this looks. Turned out really pretty. We're going to flip this over and then I'm going to add some adhesive behind it. And then this is going to go in the middle of our blue strip there. Well, not really in the middle, more towards the top, but we're going to uh, center it, I should say. For my sentiment, you could, for this card, it could be universal. You could use, um, any sentiment you want. I use the the inside heart from the outline heart to fill it, add a little glitter um, on the inside of that heart, um, heart die cut. But I use the XOXO, but I think Hello would be good too. So you can make it a, um, a universal card with the sentiments in your glitter sentiment sheets. <laughs> but that will finish card number two. And now we're gonna move along to card number three. We're gonna make a shaker card. So these dies are from Spellbinders. If you're looking for some real pretty cloud dies, this is nice and it comes with the sun too. I'm gonna to die cut out two small white clouds, one large white cloud, and then I'm gonna trim down a piece of the yellow cardstock in the kit, and we're gonna die cut out a sun with that. 
everything's die cut. You can see the, the there's embossed detail in there, which makes those clouds really pretty. Now I have a panel that measures three and three quarter inches by five inches. Um, and then I took a piece of, or actually um, the blue polka dot pattern paper and trimmed that down to the same size. Um, I just took a square die and, and created a window in it to make my own kind of photo frame. And then I added adhesive behind my frame and then we're gonna tack down two of the clouds behind it. I was gonna do the third one behind it but thought we would put it in front um, just for a little bit of a little different something. I'm gonna add adhesive behind the two clouds and I'm going to layer the sun, connecting them all together. And I love the way this looks. And then after we have this done, we are gonna go ahead and add our third cloud right in the front and that bottom corner there. I think it looks good. We're gonna flip it around. I'm gonna add some adhesive and then a piece of acetate over that window. Next, we're gonna bring in some thin strips of foam adhesive and add that behind our panel. And I just went around the edges of the panel. I wasn't worried about adding um, foam tape behind the, the clouds or anything. Now, I didn't stamp my sentiment and that was a um, afterthought. So what I did was heavily, heavily um, add foam adhesive to the bottom of this. Believe it or not, 3M foam tape works really good for stamping on sentiments. Um, and it, it usually when I stamp on the 3M foam tape, if there's not any um, any open area be, be behind it, your sentiments will still stamp, stamp good. At least that's my theory and I'm hoping it will. <laughs> I added sequins, the white sequins were really pretty. Um, added that to my shaker, just one layer of foam tape so they're not gonna shake too much. And then I added that blue pattern paper, which I ended up trimming down behind my shaker window. And I love the way this turned out. Next, I adhered my shaker to a um, slightly larger piece of the gold mirror cardstock. And then we're gonna stamp our sentiment. First we'll stamp you and it's stamped beautifully. And then I'm gonna take a secondary sentiment and I'm gonna stamp no one like right in front of it. And you can see I went ahead and popped up one of the die cut hot air balloons and put it over my cloud area. I don't know why I edited that out, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's on top of the, the shaker. And I'm just stamping with my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. But that's my shaker card, it doesn't shake too much for card number three. <laughs> for my next card, we're gonna use an embossing folder. This is the floral embossing folder. Um, I'm gonna emboss white cardstock that measures three and one quarter inches by four and a half inches. Once that's embossed, I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, my card base and some pattern paper. This pattern paper actually coordinates perfectly with this heart die cut. They match, that's the same print, which is really nice. So this pattern paper measures three and three quarter inches by five inches. We're gonna adhere that to our card base. If you guys know me by now, you know I like that white border of the card base. I just like frames. I like framing my cards. <laughs> Next, we're gonna add our embossed panel right in the middle. This card would be actually great for an anniversary or a um, a, a wedding card. Um, yeah, I think it'd be really nice. I'm gonna take my heart die cut, add some foam adhesive behind it, and then this is gonna go um, towards the upper portion of my embossed panel. And then I also have a few extra die cut pieces. I have, there's two sizes of arrows in the die cut pack. I chose the longest one. And then I have the blue heart and the green heart. First, we're gonna add adhesive behind our arrow. Add that to our blue heart. Making sure it's kind of evenly spaced there. And then I was just gonna directly adhere the green heart, but decided I think we should pop it up. So let's grab some foam tape and a foam square, I should say, and add that behind our green heart and place that um, over the center of our blue heart. So we kind of sandwich the arrow in between them both. I'm gonna flip over my heart, add some adhesive, and then this is um, not the same size of the heart as, as the white one on our, our circle. But it's slightly uh, smaller, so you can see that white area, and I think it just turned out perfect. For my sentiment, I'm gonna use Celebrating Love 
put that in the bottom with some foam adhesive and then lastly we're going to add some sparkle with some of the white sequins in our kit this month actually it's not lastly i think we're going to do a little journey actually i want to call it journey glaze but it's um our the spellbinders glazing glue we're going to go over that green heart and then as i was looking at i thought we need a little more pizzazz so i'm going to bring in my journey sparkle cuts these are like large iridescent glitter flakes and we're going to add just a little bit of sparkle to that journey glaze i love doing this because it just reminds me of like a, a jewelry stone or something i just blew off the excess glitter in my trash can and that finishes card number four okay we're going to move along to card number five which is a pretty easy card I have, we're gonna make a landscape style card. So I have some pattern paper. It measures two and three quarter inches tall. Now this is gonna be landscape, so. And then of course, we're gonna go ahead and use our tape runner and adhere that to the bottom of our card base. I have a little excess overhanging. We'll just trim that off. And then I have two of the die cut strips that have the XOXO on them. We're gonna add adhesive behind one of them and go over the seam of our pattern paper and then with our second one we're gonna finish off that seam now this one I wanted the XOXO to end on our um, the end of our card base so there's gonna be a little bit of a gap no worries because we're gonna cover that with um with a sentiment so we'll just trim off the excess and you can see that XO ends there and then I have the love die cut and then three pieces of cardstock from our kit we're gonna add adhesive behind our love and then mat that on some pink cardstock. This is the darker pink um, cardstock that came with our kit this month, making sure it's centered. And then I trimmed a slightly larger piece of yellow cardstock to mat that on. And then I trimmed a slightly larger piece of blue cardstock to, to mat that on. And I love the way this turned out. We'll just make sure it's centered. So we have three layers. And it did add a little bit of dimension, which was really nice, but I think it coordinates with the diamonds or the square shapes that are on our pattern um, paper. Next, we're gonna add some foam tape behind this. And then this is, again, is gonna go over that gap between our XOXO border strips there. And then lastly, I think that's looks good. I thought I got it crooked, but I, I think I was, um, my card was just, lopsided a little bit. <laughs> We're going to finish it off with some white sequins. We're going to add three up here in the white area and then a couple um, right next to the E area. And that finishes card number five. A pretty simple card, but it could be universal. Next, we're going to go ahead and move along to card number six. Card number six, we're gonna make a floral card. So I have some pattern paper that measures three and a half inches wide. We're gonna add adhesive behind the left and right side of this. And then I have some half inch strips of our gold mirror cardstock. We're gonna add a little gold to the left and right of this pattern paper. And it's about an eighth of an inch. I just wanted a little bit of gold showing. I'm gonna trim off the top here and then We'll bring in our card base. We'll add a little bit more adhesive. And this is gonna go right down the center of our card base. And of course I have some excess overhanging. We'll just use the scissors and trim that off. Such a pretty pattern paper. It really goes well with one of the die cut flowers, um, which you can see on my tag. I, um, the tag and the die cut flower are both from our die cut pack. I'm gonna go ahead and take some white twine. We're gonna thread it through our tag. And I like to basically um, create a loop, put the loop through the hole and then um, open up that loop and then thread the, the tail of the twine through the loop. That's how I like to tie my, my tags. I went ahead and added some pop-up foam adhesive to our tag. And then we're going to place this all the way to the bottom of our card base. And then we'll add a little tape behind our floral and add that so it's overhanging just a little bit to the left. And then for my sentiment, we're going to use one of the chipboard sentiments that says, fill tomorrow, or no, fill today, 
<laughs> with, and then there's a little heart. So I thought we would bring in the glitter stickers and finish it off with um, a scripty love. So I added the love, and then we're gonna go ahead and replace the heart that's on our chipboard banner um, with a smaller gold glitter heart and add a couple more hearts too. We're gonna go ahead and tie the bow of our tag, and then that is card number six. I love how there's lots of little sparkle and gold accents, and I love the soft colors of this month's kit. But that finish, finishes card number six. Okay, we're gonna go right in to card number seven. I have a piece of the star um, with the foiled accent. This is the card front panel, so it measures four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. We're gonna go ahead and adhere that to the front of our card base. And then I have some of the um, blue and white polka dot pattern paper. It is actually a three quarter inch strip. Three quarter inches by three and three, well, no, I take that back. Three quarter inches by three inches wide. I adhered the gold underneath it to add a little bit of fanciness to it. And then we tack that to our um, pink pattern paper with the gold um, polka dots on there. And that measures three inches wide by three and three quarter inches tall. Next, we're gonna add a bow off to the left. And then we're gonna use our tape runner and add some tape and some uh, pop up foam behind our little panel and then I'm going to add a little bit of glue and then this is going to go in the center of our card base. We have a couple extra die cut pieces. We have the one that says I would find you in any lifetime. I thought that was so pretty and then the edge of that it has gold on it. I just took a smaller piece of the pop up foam tape. We're going to adhere that behind our sentiment. Add a little more glue and you know, as I do this guys, I suggest maybe using your double-sided tape for this because um, the Barely Art glue is on the thinner side and it kind of warped my, pa my paper a little bit. So maybe a tape runner would be, or a double-sided adhesive would work better. But anyway, we're gonna, for my a little added sparkle, I'm gonna use one of those banners with the twine. And I chose the one that said, you are my happy and I'm putting the bow over the existing bow. And then I have a couple butterflies that we're gonna add, the pink one and the blue one. I wanted the, the pink butterfly on the blue and I wanted the blue on the pink. So I just used the small foam square to pop those up. But that is card number seven. I think the tails on this was a little too long so I trimmed them off. <laughs> now for card number eight, we have a few pieces of pattern paper. We're gonna start off with the music pattern paper and that measures four inches by five and a quarter. This is gonna go on our card base. And then I'm gonna mat the pink with gold dots to the pink gingham paper. And the gold dotted pink pattern paper measures two and three quarter inches wide by four inches tall. And then of course, the, the pink gingham is just a little bit larger. We're gonna adhere that to the center of our card base. Next, we have some, some die cut pieces. I have the tag, which we're gonna trim down a piece of our pop-up foam adhesive and put that behind our tag and then place that in the center of our pattern papers. As you can see, I also threaded some white twine through there. We're gonna add adhesive to the music heart, the music note heart went perfect with the pattern paper. And then I also have another arrow, it's the longer one, and then um, a blue heart. We're gonna add adhesive behind our blue heart, tack down our um, arrow. Once that's adhered, we're gonna go ahead and add some foam squares behind it. And then this is gonna go um, over the music note heart that's in the, on our tag there. So we're doing a little bit of layering, but I love the colors. <laughs> For my sentiment, I'm gonna use the Love You die cut. I'm gonna go ahead and tie the bow here. And I think I'm gonna leave the tail of the bow on this card. I think I like it a little bit longer, so I'm not gonna do much trimming with it. I am gonna add a small piece of foam adhesive behind the Love You. I'm not sure if I wanna put it 
on the heart or below it but I opted to put it below it I think that's gonna look better just below that gold line on our tag just remove the release paper and add our sentiment and then I am gonna finish it off with a little added sparkle with our white sequins which I'm really loving and we'll just use our glue to adhere three up here and then two on the bottom next to our sentiment and that is card number eight now for card number nine we're gonna make another floor I decided to lift it a little bit <laughs> a little more centered okay night card number nine we're gonna make a landscape style card so I have some pattern paper this is the pink pattern paper it's kind of like tone on tone um, it measures five inches by three and three quarters that went in the center of our card base and then I have a strip of that floral pattern paper it measures two inches wide and then I have a strip of the star pattern paper and that is a one inch strip I layered those both together about a half inch up from the bottom and then I just trimmed off the excess there we're going to use the floral once more we get two of them in our kit this month and I do want to add one of the chipboard stickers the one that says always and no matter what I wanted a different maybe add a little blue to our pattern and I'm going to do a little tucking so I'm going to find my placement for my chipboard sticker first and then I'll pop up my floral add that and then for my sentiment we're going to add the word smile and then it's these are nice because um, you can kind of manipulate the shape a little bit um, and I, I, I lost the eye to my smile and so to fix it I thought we would just use a heart and then also I didn't notice until I was looking for the eye that there are two leaves in our glitter um, sentiment um, stickers here so I just added both of those leaves I have to punch out um, the inside pieces of it and then we're going to add those to our floral also and put them up on the upper corner upper left corner of our card to bring up some of that that glitter and let's dot the eye with a heart the smallest one we can find and then last but not least I'm going to bring in my gold stickles and we're going to add a little gold to the center of our flowers on this die cut piece just to bring it all together now for my final card today we're going to go kind of simple with it but I love just the simplicity of it so we have a panel that measures three and three quarter inches wide by five inches tall and then I'm using my Simply Perfect Florets embossing folder to add a little bit of embossed detail to that white panel. We're gonna tape that down to the center of our card base and then I have two of the rainbow kind of ticket looking pieces. We're gonna layer both of them together in the green area. So I added tape to one of the green areas and then added the second one right over the top. And then I don't want to look like a ticket, I want it to look like pattern paper. So I'm just gonna trim off about a quarter of an inch off the top and bottom so it doesn't look like a ticket anymore. <laughs> and then we'll take this, flip it over, and I'm gonna add some foam tape behind it. Um, I'm just gonna remove the release paper off of our, our rainbow colors here, add that to the left of our card base. And then I have two of the gold butterflies and one of them I know I want to cover up the the ticket hole in the center where we layered the green together so I'm just gonna add one foam square behind the middle of our butterfly and add that and then add the second one right below it for my sentiment for this card I think we're gonna flip-flop positions for my sentiment we're gonna use some of those uh, glittery banners with the string I just love these I chose the one that says thinking of you and I just put it underneath kind of did a little tucking underneath the bottom butterfly very simple card but I just I think it's just real pretty <laughs> and that finishes card number 10 today thank you so much for joining me we're going to take a look at all 10 cards that we made today with the um, spellbinders card kit of the month for January 2022 I hope this gives you some ideas with the kit such a neat kit and there's tons left over guys um, if you're interested in spellbinders kits I'll leave that link down below and then also um, 
Um, I hope you enjoy my project. If you want to see still shots, I take individual pictures of the cards and then um, put them over on my blog. I'll list the coordinating blog post. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, <laughs> but I'm going to put the coordinating blog post down below in the description area also. So if you click on that, it'll go to my blog. Usually on my blog, uh, my favorite photo, um, I'll put it the, the biggest picture and then there's there's three rows of three of all the pictures but if you click on them it'll um you can see them individually but thanks for joining me i hope you have a fabulous week i'll see you again tomorrow for another project but thank you for joining me have a great day thank you for all your happy new year wishes i hope you guys um, had a fabulous new year's we'll see you soon guys Bye bye